Hello and welcome to Bimagine Revit Tutorials. In today's tutorial I would like to show you how to create roof rafters using Roof Curtain tool. For this tutorial I'm going to use model that I created before and now we will create roof with roof layers that we are going to use as a reference for our roof construction. Okay, as you can see here I will create a uh, second part of the roof and for join them I need just to modify the second uh, roof and I will cut it using uh, cut by face tool. Okay, I selected the surface and now I'm, uh, I'm selecting the part of the roof that will be cut. It. Okay. Now I will cut the second. Roof. I need the surface to be uh, cut it properly because uh, uh, because I I will create the curtain roof using these parts. that I'm creating now. Uh, so our roof must be created properly, cut it and uh, cleaned from parts that we don't need, that we don't want to be visible in the, in the, in the project. Now you can see we have a create, perfect created roof. We cut it. Very good. And now uh, I will create the same roof in the same place and I select the curtain roof. I will rename it roof rafters and I will hide the uh, reference roof I cr uh, I've created before. I will do the same here. I will create this roof in the same place and I will change it in roof rafters that we created before. All right. I hide the second roof too and now we we are going to create rafters from here. Okay, we will choose maximum spacing. The space will be uh, 60 centimeters. And from here I will choose the rafters or mullions I've created before. How to create this kind of mullion? Uh, I hope you know that, but if you don't, in the uh, later in this tutorial I will show you how to change dimensions of the of the rafters. Now our roof rafters are almost created. We just need to position them and for that we will use the reference roof and section that I have created before. Here you see our reference roof. We need to move our rafters up this point okay we will do the same with other roof rafters okay they are in the proper position now all right OK. 
Okay, I need to delete this uh, overlapped roof parts, uh, rafters parts. I think I will. I will just delete them. Okay. For delete them, I need uh, to unlock them bef uh, before do the changes on them, because if they are locked, we can't, we cannot uh, change them. Okay. I will select this part here too because I need to delete it also. All right. And I will delete this to here also. All right. Uh, this this house model was created uh, by using the curtain uh, walls and curtain roof. Uh, later I will show you how to calculate the quantities using these tools, quantities of materials. Now I will delete or I will uh, make invisible these parts here. As you know, in the curtain system, we uh, we cannot change the geom geometry that uh, that isn't a rectangular. For example, as a uh, as a panel system here, I choose the invisible uh, panel family that I've created, but in the parts where we have. Uh, not uh, where we don't have rectangular forms uh, our family can be edited so i will make these parts invisible in this way by edit family in place and by selecting the visible visibility parameter Okay, that's all, dear friends. Our family, our roof is finished here, and I hope you will subscribe on my channel and share my work with your friends and colleagues. See you in the next tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to create a button and contra button parts of the roof, and later I will show you how to calculate all quantities of the material for roof uh, construction and for roof cost. See you in the next tutorial.